Hello world and welcome to sunny Oslo, Norway, or as some would say, the home of fresh air. But it's also the home of AirThings, a global leader in indoor air quality and radon gas monitoring. Take a deep breath, because I've only got another 9 minutes and 43 seconds to introduce you to our suite of wireless and battery operated indoor air quality devices that make it easy to monitor and optimize the air quality in your buildings. But let's not dither here because often the air quality inside is five times worse than the outdoor air quality. So let's go on on inside, not here, but to our offices, and let's talk about where the real problem lies. We all take 20,000 breaths of air a day, and there's a lot more than oxygen in each of those breaths. Research is increasingly expanding our awareness of how the air we're breathing is not only affecting our health and our well-being but also our cognitive abilities. We're now in the AirThings offices, and the air that me and my colleagues are breathing are monitored by the AirThings Wave Plus, which is the battery-operated indoor air quality device that is continuously monitoring to ensure that the air in our offices are optimal for energetic, creative, and innovative work. Curiously, the human body is not equipped to detect or evaluate the quality of the air we're breathing. Most dangers are invisible to our senses. Take radon gas, for example. It's an inert gas that we cannot see, smell, or taste, but the dangers it poses to our, our bodies is far from invisible. Similarly, with dust particles in the air, or PM, particulate matter. The smaller they get, the more damaging they are to our lungs. In fact, the dust that you see in the air is not by far as dangerous as the ones that are invisible to the naked eye. I think both of these are great examples for why, why we need IoT and sensors to augment our sensing abilities to judge whether our indoor environment is optimal. It was this realization that inspired three Norwegian scientists working at CERN in Switzerland to found AirThings. CERN is the European Centre for Nuclear Research and home of the 27 km wide EPIC Large Hadron Collider. 13 years later, AirThings have become a global leader uh, in indoor air quality monitoring. And we've sold hundreds of thousands of IoT devices from our offices here in Oslo, Germany, England, Canada, and the United States. The flagship product for AirThings for Business is the AirThings Wave Plus. It's a wireless battery operated indoor environment sens sensor that continuously monitors seven parameters. Every five minutes, it, it records the CO2 levels, the volatile organic compounds, the temperature, humidity, pressure, light, and radon gas levels in the space it, uh, it monitors. Radon is a radioactive gas that we find all around us, but it becomes damaging for our bodies as the concentration rises, particularly in buildings. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers, resulting in more than 40,000 deaths a year in Europe and the United States. To illustrate how harmful radon is to our bodies, let me show you my favorite YouTube video. This is radon gas in a cloud chamber, and the contrails are the little lines of smoke. It's the energy released when the radon molecule decays. If this happens while radon is inside your lungs, it could damage your lung cell DNA and cause a cancer-inducing mutation. Harvard University and Syracuse University jointly conducted the seminal COGFX study, which greatly advanced our understanding of what the sick building syndrome really entails. They created a controlled environment where they uh, changed the levels of CO2 and volatile organic compounds in an office space where uh, normal office workers were doing their work. When they ensured that the CO2 and VOC levels were well below the recommended levels, they saw a significant increase in the cognitive abilities of the participants. Thus, cognitively, we're actually better off making an important strategic decision before going into a two-hour long meeting than afterwards due to the deteriorating air quality in badly ventilated meeting rooms. Air quality also concerns our health. Here at AirThings, we've recently started returning to our offices after several months of remote working. And one of the actions we put in place to ensure that we have a healthy working, uh, working space is to monitor and control the relative humidity in the space, so it remains within a range that we know is less conducive to the spread of airborne infectious diseases. Let me show you how easy it is to get started with air quality monitoring. We have a meeting room downstairs that we still haven't installed some sensors. Join me and let's get it set up. Let's start monitoring this new meeting room we have with the AirTanks for Business solution. It's so easy, literally anyone can do it. The first thing to do is set up the AirTanks hub. 
This is the gateway that wirelessly connects to all the indoor air quality sensors in your building and transmits them to the AirTanks cloud using the built-in uh, SIM card for cellular modem connection. You don't need to connect this to your local network. All you have to do is register the device to your account and plug it in to give it power. Once the hub is connected, we can start mounting the AirTanks Wave Plus. These, are wi these wirelessly connect to the hub and each hub can support up to 30 devices. So you need very few hubs in each installation. Again, all you have to do is register your device to your account, pull out the battery tab, and it already starts looking for the closest hub and transmits data to the cloud. The AirTanks Wave Plus and Hub have now successfully connected to the AirTanks Cloud and we can access all our data in the AirTanks dashboard. It's very easy to uh, check in our meeting room we're sitting in now that our radon levels, our volatile organic compounds, CO2, humidity levels, temperature, pressure, even light levels are within the recommended levels. So we're good here. If you want to get a spatial overview of your office, I've also uploaded um, a floor plan from our offices here. And very quickly, I can check what the various temperatures are within our space and that the CO2, I can see that the CO2 levels in our developer area is a bit lower than in marketing and sales. I think what's great with IoT devices and, and property technology is the ability to integrate into other systems. Integrations are available through a webhook or a REST API, which makes it very easy for you to send this data to another dashboard or bring it into your BMS if you want to automate and run your HVA system using the AirTank sensors. These are easily accessible uh, in the dashboard and can be configured here um, with documentation available both on our GitHub page and our developer pages. Without the insight into how your building is being used and how the air quality varies throughout the day based on when people are present and not present, you don't have the insight to truly optimize your HVAC systems. I often find buildings that are overventilated or underventilated because they don't have the understanding of how air quality varies throughout the day. This became particularly apparent during the COVID-19 lockdowns when a lot of buildings continue running as if they were as if it was normally operated even though no one was in present in the buildings. At AirThings, we believe that understanding the air we breathe at home and at work is an essential part of a healthy lifestyle. Even when we buy a hamburger, it has a full nutritional breakdown of why it's good and not good for our bodies. And most of us now are wearing smartwatches that's monitoring every heartbeat and the activity that we do throughout the day in order for us to optimize and improve the way we live a healthier, better life. Why not have the same level of insight into the air that we're breathing every day indoors? At the same time, we provide an incredibly powerful tool for building owners, operators, and facility managers giving them the data and insight to truly optimize the running of their HVAC systems. So thank you very much for joining me and AirThings here in Oslo today.